Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this video showcase for our 2014 BMW 330 diesel M Sport Touring. Uh, this particular car is finished in sapphire black, uh, has a, a mileage of 51,500, uh, has an excellent specification and is in fantastic condition throughout. Uh, really, really lovely paintwork. Just had the car professionally detailed. Um, the, uh, the sort of upgrades on the car, um, on, the, on the front you can see the visor on headlights with a visibility package. Uh, this also includes adaptive light and the uh, angel eyes that you see on the front. Uh, we also have the 18 inch alloy wheels, the M Sport wheels, all in absolutely perfect condition. I'll just have a quick look around these now. The back bumper, again, all in absolutely beautiful condition. No signs of any sort of loading scratches or marks or anything like that. Really beautiful, deep gloss on the paintwork. I think I've spotted one tiny chip just on that wheel, just there. Just those, I'm pretty sure, are the only marks on the car. Rest of the wheel all in perfect condition. And just round to the front, show you the passenger front wheel. Again, you're obviously going to get the odd stone chip here and there, certainly nothing excessive. Um, tiny, tiny little ones, I'll just show you on my finger there, just to show you that and that. I think that's pretty much, apart from just very, very small uh, chips across the bonnet, um, really nothing excessive at all. Um, and then obviously, just where the softer paint is at the bottom of the, the bumpers, you do get the odd uh, little chip and mark there. But again, as you can see, really, really very good, nothing to really point out to you at all. No dents at all on the car. Uh, again, all in fantastic condition. We have uh, power folding door mirrors, um, which is part of the, uh, the package on this. Um, and again, all of the mirror caps are completely free of any grazes or marks or anything like that at all. Car features an electric tailgate. Beautiful clean boot area. 40-40-20 split. On the, uh, on the rear seats and because the car has run flat tyres we also have a decent amount of um, under storage uh, in the boot area as well as the advanced storage package which uh, allows you to have sort of luggage nets, places to put things, charging points um, and uh, places to hang sort of bags and things like that. First aid kit located in the back completely unused and the roller cover again all unused and in very very good condition. Nice thing with these touring models is that you can also open the glass section of the boot. Just quite handy for putting shopping bags in and things like that. But yeah, in terms of the condition, absolutely beautiful throughout. Lovely, lovely gleam on the paintwork. Back of the car really doesn't look like the back seats have been used much at all. Beautiful black leather, all in fantastic condition. Sorry, got very low sun at the moment, just trying to... Okay. And round to the front. Again, leather all in beautiful condition. No signs that the car's ever been smoked in or had any, uh, any dogs in the car or anything like that at all. Uh, very, very minimal bolster wear, as you're always going to get just on the driver's side, but again, it's extremely minimal. Uh, nothing excessive at all. Across to the doors. Again, leather continues across the door uh, and the power folding mirror buttons. Car features automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers, and because the car is fitted with the visibility package, we also have the um, automatic uh, high beam assist, which basically just uh, dips your headlights when a car comes towards you. On the inside, it's been upgraded with the piano black finisher, which is a lot nicer than the sort of standard uh, blue one that you get on the, the M Sport models really does make the uh, interior look lovely and classy. You have uh, dual zone climate control in the front, so independent uh, temperature settings for driver and passenger. And then we also have three stage heated seats as well um, for driver and passenger. So, really, really great spec on the car. Um, also complemented with the professional navigation system. This is the top of the range system that's available. Uh, covers you for uh, your European mapping as well as traffic reports and things like that beautiful widescreen display that we have up here rather than the sort of business navigation that only comes up and, and shows a, a small part of it. Uh, we also have digital radio DAB 
and through to the media settings we have uh, a DVD player so this screen will, will, uh, will, will show films uh, music collection which is an onboard hard drive for the car uh, you can just download music using a USB stick or, uh, or just put a CD in the car and it will actually download into it um, and then you also have connections for your external devices um, with auxiliary socket and um, USB in the front center armrest as well as the Bluetooth media streaming which is uh, again not fitted on all of the cars this this particular car has the enhanced Bluetooth um, which not only allows you to use your telephone for voice calls but it also will actually stream uh, music podcasts uh, and things like that uh, internet radio direct from your phone without having to plug in so it's a really really nice feature this um, it just saves having cables and things like that all over the car we have a full control panel in here for the car the uh, satellite navigation can be used by, uh, via the touchpad, uh, which basically means down here you have the larger scrolling pad um, to be able to move left and right, but you can also uh, actually write things like postcodes in with your with handwriting and it'll recognise that onto the screen as well, which is uh, again a great, great, great feature once you're used to it. Um, in terms of the vehicle status, we have flat tyre warning indicators, we have uh, electronic measurements for oils and things like that. Um, and then if we come through to the uh, servicing screen, we'll see that there's nothing due for quite some time. Uh, the first of that would be rear brake pads uh, not needing doing until 4,700 4, miles. Sorry, uh, Engine oil is not due until September 2020 or in 18,000 miles. Vehicle checks, same sort of time, uh, 2020. Front brake pads, uh, 19,000 miles. And brake fluid service, not due until September two, 2020 also. Just coming through into the services history screen, uh, this will show any BMW services that have been done. Um, and if we just come through here, we can see that they've been done and carried out all at the right times. Brake fluid there, 25,000 miles. And then 35,000 miles for a major service there. Coming across to the screen, because the car has the professional satellite navigation, we also have the black panel display, which is this sort of digital display down here, rather than the traditional gauges. Um, it will sort of change depending on what driving mode that you're in, um, and uh, and just displays a lot more information and is a, a far sort of nicer uh, setup really on there. So this whole part down here is a is a becomes a digital display, which is pretty great. Uh, we also have front and rear parking sensors. Um, again, these are audible, uh, as well as actually showing you up on the screen when when the uh, which parking sensor is being used at any one time. So uh, makes it a lot easier to park. And I think that pretty much finishes the specification on the inside. Um, we obviously have things like cruise control, which is standard on the M Sport models uh, on the steering wheel here, as well as paddle shift for the automatic, um, and then also all of your. Um, controls for your telephone, media settings, and also voice control, of which there's a, a, a very good system on here. The final feature I just wanted to show you was the lane change assist, uh, which the button is down here to, to activate that. Uh, and also you can see the triangle buttons on either side of the uh, the wing mirrors there. They, that will basically just detect any cars that are coming into the lane uh, in, uh, behind you on a motorway or something like that, and then will flash to, to warn you of their presence. So um, a very, very good system. Um, which which works extremely well. I hope you found the video useful. If we can help with any further information at all, or you'd like a finance quotation, or you have a part exchange to value, then please do get in touch uh, through our website, which is influencecars.co.uk. Be more than happy to organise a test drive for you, uh, or provide you with any further information. Uh, but yeah, absolutely beautiful specification car in excellent condition. Uh, full service history throughout, all the tyres are good, uh, wheels apart from one tiny chip that I've shown you uh, are all in fantastic condition. Uh, great spec with things like the Xenon headlights uh, that sort of bend round corners at night. And uh, yeah, just a very, very, very capable, fast, practical family car. If we can help with any further information, please do let us know. If not, we'll see you again next time. Thanks very much again for watching.